What's up, y'all? I'm back with a new video, and in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with y'all my super duper affordable drugstore foundation routine. My base, how I keep it set, especially because I have oily skin. So if you have super duper oily skin, you've come to the right place. Enough of my yapping, let me get into the video. But before I do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button at the end of the video, of course, if you like this video. And if you wanna see more videos from me, hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications, all right? Before I put my makeup on, I like to put this moisturizer on. It is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Barrier Cream. It's just like the perfect base. So I'm gonna apply this on my face. Okay, now that I have my moisturizer on, so for foundation, I'm gonna be using my NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. It's funny, when this foundation first released, I was not interested in it at all. I thought it was super greasy, but I get it now and I love it. So I'm gonna be using the shade beige and I'm gonna mix it with the color caramel. And because I have the Ultra Repair Skin Barrier Cream on, it just like the, it's like a match made in heaven. All right, so now that I have my foundation applied, I'm gonna move on to concealer and I'm bringing it back a little old school. No, this is really old school. I'm gonna be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer, High Definition Concealer. This is old school. Cool. I know you guys remember this concealer. It's so old. Oh, <laughs> alrighty. So I'm gonna be using the shade Creamy Beige underneath my eyes. And I like this shade because it is it is more on the peachy side, so it can help with the discoloration. I'm gonna take the same sponge that I was using for my foundation and blend this baby out. And I switch sides because, I don't know. I don't know why I switch sides. <laughs> Mentally, it just makes me feel better. Flawless. All right, nice and highlighted. All right, so the next step, I decided for this video, since you know I'm highlighting and all that stuff, in, in, in I don't know what I'm trying to say. Since I'm doing the highlighted under eye look, and we wanna go there, I'm gonna tell you about one of my favorite products. This is the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo. I'm not gonna use the lighter side, I'm just gonna use this side to contour this makes my life so much easier so if you're someone who's like a newbie i'm trying to find the color for you guys this isn't cinnamon peach if you're someone who's a newbie um or you just find that you just struggle with cream contouring try using this i just do like a little bit i think the reason why i like it is because it blends out much better than like a cream like cream sticks i guess and I, I don't know, I, I just can't explain it. I really, really like it. And then I just use brush to blend it out. And you see, it's just so easy. I don't, I don't know how they did it because I don't know. Maybe I'm just not an expert in the products that are easy to do it. But so far out of all the products that I've used, this one's the easiest. As you can see, I'm going overboard on the chin. <laughs> Get that chin. <laughs> see, look at that, look at that contour. Yes. All right, so I just did a little bit of cream contouring. Now we're gonna go into powder. I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I love to use this powder. This is one of like three drugstore affordable powders that I love to use. I'm gonna take the sponge that I use, been using on my face. And since I get powder everywhere, we're gonna make a little, a little bit of paper towel bit. <laughs> Set this bad boy. So first I go in with the first layer, like when I'm setting to really make sure it's set. And I pat it in like I'm trying to, you know, like I, I push it into the skin basically. That's why it looks like this at first. Then I go over with another layer and leave it like that. But if this was like more of, um, like if I wanted to do even more of a natural look than I'm gonna be doing, or at least make it look natural, I would just pat it in and leave it. I wouldn't do the extra bacon. And then I like to do the corners of my mouth because for some reason the corners of my mouth get really oily. All right, so I'm gonna take the medium deep. It is darker than my skin tone, but not, not just, just slightly. So that's why I like to use this second powder, which I normally don't have to, I don't, it doesn't really matter, but I'm just gonna use it for the sake of this video. And I like to use it underneath the chin to set the contour. Like I don't set the contour with the contour powder. I don't know, my, my ways are weird. For me personally, I wouldn't suggest doing the cutoff method that a lot of people do. I call it the cutoff method, which is basically where you leave this alone for the contour and then you put the powder, this color powder right here. I've done that before and to me, honestly, it, it just makes my the lower part of my face look chubbier. 
and I don't want that. I mean, most of the people I do see do it do have very sculpted faces, so maybe that's why. But if you don't have a really sculpted face, I don't think that technique is a good technique. That's just my personal opinion. And then the light part that I set in the middle of my forehead, I don't let it set as much as the rest of my face because I don't, I don't want my forehead to look that highlighted. This setting powder is really, really strong. Therefore, I'm gonna wipe it off right now. I don't bake that much with this. I don't bake, well, I don't bake that long. So I'm gonna wipe it off. And I like wiping it off after I use the medium deep so that I don't have like too much of the white cast. You can see the base is looking flawless. Ah! So basically, this is the foundation routine. This is what I do. This is my base. And it was super affordable. I know normally I fast forward at this point and then the video's over, but because you guys like to see the full, you know, routine in the makeup. I'll just quickly do some shadow contour and highlight. To keep this look affordable, I'm gonna be using my palette. It's my very palette, XBH Cosmetics. And right now, my palette's actually on sale for $13.50. So I'm gonna be using this color for contour. As you can see, it's basically done, but I don't have to use much because I did my cream contour. For blush, I'm gonna use the eyeshadow color Spice and spice it up, spice up this face. For highlighter, I'm gonna use Moonlight. So I'm basically done with the face. I just have to apply a quick lip. And although I was only showing you guys the base as drugstore and what I use, like the affordable products, the whole look is still affordable on my lips. I'm gonna be using, I think I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Melting Pout. This is such a pretty, sexy, like, it's just, it's a really nice color. It's really nice. Watch, let me show you guys. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go back with the NYX um, contouring cream thing I use. And I've been doing this lately. I do it sometimes. Sometimes I use liner and sometimes I don't cause I don't want it to look too harsh. All right, now that the lips are pouty, like I said, I'm gonna use my CoverGirl Melting Pout Vinyl Val. This is in the color Toasted. Watch this. It's just such like, it's just such a pretty gloss. It's so pretty. I do go overboard with how much I apply though. <laughs> I want it to look glossy. And this is the finished look. This is my foundation routine, although I showed you all of the rest of the steps that didn't necessarily need to, but I wanted to because they were affordable as well. This whole face is drugstore, except for my palette, obviously. You know it brings me much pleasure to do a beat face with affordable makeup. And not only do you, you know, you have a face that's gonna last you all day, last through the oils, it looks flawless, no matter like the texture, it's also not gonna have you looking crazy when that flash comes out. No flashback, that is what I'm talking about. Save your money and still look cute. All right, y'all, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. And I mean, I can't really say I'll see you in my next one because I'm not sure if, you know, I'm gonna have an, another one soon because Zoe's almost here. But I hope that I see you in my next video. All right, guys. Deuces. Uh,